Hello, welcome to the second part of reusable widgets. If you haven't seen the part one of this tutorial, I highly recommend watching that first and then continue with this video. I have provided the link to the first part in the description below. So please pause this video and click on that if you haven't seen it. So in this video, we will update the navigation using routes and I will tell you why I am updating the navigation using routes and also we will save the theme and then load it back to the UI when the user comes back to the app. This video is going to be very short, so let's not waste our time and jump into the code. Okay. So in the previous video, we had three screens, the login screen, home screen, and the settings screen. So when the user logs in, we were actually replacing the login screen with the home screen. So I'm going to change the navigation using routes. So for that, I'm going to create a new file, name it routes.dart and create a class. I'm going to say routes and let's write a function static routes that's going to return a list of route IDs. So we need to declare the route ID in each screen first. We have three screens here, the login screen, the home screen and the settings screen. So let's go to the home screen, sorry, the login screen and uh, create a static constant route ID with ID login underscore screen. Okay, let me save that and let's go to the home screen and create a route ID with home underscore screen and similarly in the settings screen, settings underscore screen. Okay, and in the routes method, let's return those route IDs context and return the login screen so similarly for home screen and the settings screen uh, let me write two more methods the first method to return the initial screen that is our login screen okay or let me change that to initial route okay and another method to return the home screen which is the home route Okay, now let's go to the main dot dot and comment that out and specify the routes property to so our class name was routes routes dot routes okay and the initial route which is our login screen so routes dot initial route okay refresh the app so there is our login screen now I'm going to add a logout button in the settings screen. So let's go to the settings screen and I'm going to use the link button that we created in the previous video. Okay. So text, which is logout and on press the button, I'm going to call a method navigator dot push named and remove until. So this is the reason we created the navigation with the routes so that we can manipulate the navigation stack easily so this will clear off the stack and it will open the login screen okay so that the user won't be able to go back to the previous screen so let's see if that's working so let's go to the settings screen click logout so if we swipe back or if you hit back button in the android device it's not going to go back okay now let's try saving the theme that the user selects in the settings and update the UI when he logs in. Okay, so let's go to the, so let me show that. So that's how the user can select a color. Now it's updating at runtime. We are not saving it. Okay, so let's go to the constants.dot file where we defined our constants, the list of colors. Okay, so let me open it. Sorry, this is the wrong one. And let's open ours. Okay, so there you can see the list of colors that we defined. Let me make it a constant. Okay, and uh, let's go to the app settings class that we created in the previous video, which is the notify class, where we have the default color, which is a teal color. So let's find the teal color here and let me put it as the first item in the array okay uh, so that we can set the default as the zero of the index okay and uh, let's go to the login screen and i'm going to change the 
above color in the login screen also to the default teal color so background color and pass in the values okay so it changed to the default teal color okay okay let me close the other files and we are gonna need the utils class now so we're going to add a new plugin called shade preferences so that we can save the values in the local storage okay it's a key value pair uh, way of saving the data you can have a key and a value saved in the local storage and you can retrieve it back okay so i have added it and uh, i called the flutter packages get to install the package now i'm going to copy some code and paste it in the utils class so that we can get a an instance of the shared preferences so import the shared preferences okay so we got the handle to the shared preferences here and let me define some keys first one is the theme index key so this is the key by which we'll be saving the theme index okay and another key logged in to save if the user has logged in or not okay so let's write some functions to save the theme index and get the theme index from the shared preferences so final shared preferences is equal to await preferences let me make it a static okay and uh, call preferences dot set int we are going to save the theme index and pass in the theme index similarly let's write another function to get the theme index from the shared preferences so static get theme index and call in theme index is equal to preferences dot get int and pass in the theme index key so initially it will be null so if it is null we are resetting it to zero and returning the theme index okay so similarly let's write the two functions to save the logged in key which is a boolean and call set boolean with the logged in key okay and the getter method is is logged in where we are going to check if the is logged in value which is returned is null or not so initially it will be null so we are going to write like this if if it is not null and if it is true that means a user is logged in okay so otherwise if it is returning false that means the user has not logged in or he has logged out okay so let's try it out i'm going to open the login screen so where the user actually logs in so that is the place where we navigate to the home screen after login so there i am setting the logged in to true and in the setting screen i am setting the logged in to false when the user logs out and when the user taps on a color in the setting screen i am going to save the theme index in the preferences so now we have the theme index and the logged in value in the preferences now we can see how we can retrieve it and make use of it so call widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized if you are making the main method asynchronous okay and let's get the initial route and we are going to check if the user is logged in so get the logged in value from the preferences by calling utils dot get sorry utils dot is logged in and we are going to check if it is true then we are setting the route to home route and we will write a constructor for the home app and we will pass the route there okay so final string route okay and pass in the route for the home app okay now let's use the route let's set the initial route to the passed in route okay so if the user is logged in then this route will be the home screen I think I have an issue here so that's a missing plugin exception so let me try to reinstall the app okay 
so i have reinstalled the app now let's try to log in and i'm going to refresh the app so you can see that our route is now the home route so let me show that so you can see that is logged in is now true and it will return the home screen okay now let's try to load the saved theme and theme our app now we are saving it but we are not actually using it right so let's go to the home screen and i'm gonna override the init state method and write a new method init theme here we are gonna get the theme saved by the user which is the theme index now let me open the app settings class where we have the method to update the color the app color so that's the update color method that's going to accept an index and get the uh, color from the colors array and update the color okay now let's go back to our method init theme and we are going to get the theme index which is saved by the user so called utils dot let me import that and get theme index so that's going to get the theme index saved by the user and we need to call the update color method so this is the syntax to call it and pass in the theme index that's going to update the theme color the app color okay and call init theme so let's try that so you can see that it's retaining the brown color that i selected so you can see that when we log out it's still retaining the color right so we need to reset the theme so when the user logs out i'm setting the color to the zeroth index which is the teal color okay and one more thing we need to do we need to set the saved value the saved theme index to zero so when we restart the app you can see that it switched back to the default color so if i log in and select a different color and if i restart the app you can see that it's retaining the brown color and when i log out it's resetting back to the default color okay all right so so that's all in this video this was a really simple example of using reusable widgets and theming your app make sure to watch the first part of this tutorial to completely understand this video link to the video is there in the description if you find this video useful please do like subscribe and share and also please leave your valuable comments below this video i'll be providing the link to the source code for this demo in the description thanks for watching and see you in the next video until then bye